So I'm just going to go over the things that I've been thinking about in regards to conspiracy theories that are going around right now. And conspiracy theories are being censored on the internet. And I don't like that they're being censored even if they're they turn out to be false you can see conspiracy theories as entertainment there's a lot of things that are like that in YouTube that are for entertainment purposes that are could be deemed as provocative like pranks um, challenges that people do and other and people try it at home and they get hurt, you know, but when it comes to questioning the government They get censored and Why why aren't they just seen as entertainment? you know or What's wrong with even questioning are we China or China just censors their stuff? We're the United States We should have freedom of speech as it says in the amendments why are that why why is that being taken away why is our right to publicize things turning out you know bad for society slowly it looks like we're looking like china's government and the u.s probably sees the US government sees China as probably a prime example of what they could be doing and censoring and and collecting all that information from your phone which they already are um, after 9-11 the Patriot Act they get to track everything they are they're tracking me right now probably and went to Iraq for supposedly weapons of mass destruction we didn't see anything Vietnam so many things that were conspiracies turned out to be true some conspiracies are good it's good to have some conspiracies so that you get to question you get to be curious ask questions so that we investigate do the research just because somebody is saying something about a conspiracy that you know they believe is true it's up to you the viewer to investigate and do the research don't just leave it up to the person making the video and if somebody wants to share that video let them share it the person that sees it investigate it the government pretty much is saying that you're dumb by censoring these things they're saying you're too dumb to do your own research you're too dumb to make your own decisions so let me censor it before you believe it let me take away your taxes before you don't pay me let me impose all these laws So you don't break them but people sometimes break laws by accident you know and conspiracies i believe are useful in many ways to investigate it's all that it, that's all it is it's a, a question to investigate a it opens the door to research finding out the truth here are a couple conspiracy theories that turn out to be true from readers digest bad booze the government urged alcohol companies during prohibition to add chemicals that cause harm into their booze to prevent people from drinking project sunshine the government wanted to collect corpses to do studies on in some ways done 
many ways done illegally. Do your research on these. You know, don't just take my word for it. Readers Digest, look, just type in. That's all I literally did was conspiracy theories that turn out to be true. All right, you got MK Ultra. You got Dalai Lama, a CIA agent. I'm not saying these, some of the, some of these things. What's going on? I'm not saying some of these things are bad. I pressed Siri by accident. Triggered Siri by accident. Uh, I'm not saying some of these things. Some conspiracies could be true. Like, hey, I mean, if Dalai Lama wants to be a, a CIA agent, good good for him but it's interesting people suspect it and it turns out to be true and I don't know it's up to you to think if it's bad or good it doesn't really matter but the point is when people suspect something and it turns out to be true that's great they, they, they shine a light on an issue they believe is not correct so for example another one tobacco companies we're preaching that tobacco was good for you, that doesn't cause cancer. And with people's suspicions, they raise the question and boom, we got them. Though there are some people that, like my dad, I don't know how he does it. He smoked, he's been smoking since he was 14, I think. And he's 70 right now and he seems okay. He's been, he just, I don't know, he's got pretty good lungs, I guess. Um, we also got Gulf of Tonkin, Tolkien incident, which is something to spark the Vietnamese war, a fake incident caused by the US military to invoke a war towards Vietnam. This Tuskegee experiment, That one is in regards to African Americans being tested with vaccines, being lied to what they were being injected with. So they were being injected with, I believe it was syphilis, without their knowledge. And, you know, what the heck, you know. Now, well, the, the, once they found out and were able to sue the government or the, the agency, which was a government agency, to investigate and find out that they were doing such malpractices, they had to reward the, well, pretty much compensate the families of the African American victims and the victims themselves with lifetime, I believe, health insurance. I don't know what other kind of benefits but that's just the extent that some government agencies are willing to take and what are they doing now they're doing surveillance they're doing censorship all in the name of keeping people I don't know under control you tell me I'm, here, I'm just observing I'm right now I'm just all I'm doing is observing sharing my ideas you know, for me, I'm just pretty much regurgitating some ideas and raising the question. Conspiracies that are going around, besides, instead of just disregarding them and saying, ah, that's crazy. Do the research and look into it, you know. So, with all these things in mind, don't let them get you down. Uh, take life in your own hands if you don't like things the way they are change them change your circumstances change the way your life is that's why I kind of like trading I like stocks it will eventually give me the opportunity to make some changes in my life um, <laughs> I'm still learning I'm still not profitable so we'll see that's the funny part I'm like I'm not even profitable and I'm already like hoping 
I'm instead of hoping I should be put I'm I am bound to put in the work I have to put in the work <gasps> I just realized I left something outside I was fixing my car earlier and I have my little thing for picking up my car I parked it right there changed the the O2 sensor but yeah that's that's how I take my life I take my life seriously I am for that reason I am single and making decisions that are good for me uh, because if I were in a relationship I'll probably let them make changes for me and that's just slows me down because not everybody thinks like me I'm not saying that I'm special or they're in, and I'm better I'm not I'm just saying like for me that I'm doing what I want for me not what other other people want for me so subscribe thank you for liking thank you for commenting thank you for sticking around and being a subscriber I will see you guys in the next video bye bye